Hello everyone, this is Dr. Strickland and this will be our first of several videos helping you get a feel for our lighting desk or light board. Um, this is an ETC ION board. Um, ETC is, stands for Electronic Theater Controls. It's one of the major uh, theatrical lighting companies in the world. Uh, and this is a top level board. Um, at the time of this recording, this is uh, the type of board that you would find in good sized theaters, uh, theaters that have a good number of lighting instruments to control. We're going to do this as a series of videos. This first video is going to show you how to turn the board on and off, which is actually a little bit more complicated than it sounds, and also get you uh, oriented with the basic parts of the board. All right? So first and foremost, notice that the board is in two sections. All right? The section over here is, your, is the main part of your lighting desk. And this other section is actually an add-on. Um, I'm not sure how anyone would survive without it, but this is called a fader wing. All right, so this is a fader wing, and that's your main board. Okay, so to turn it on, you look all the way up to the upper left-hand corner. This is the easy part of the whole powering thing, is turning it off, that's tricky. All the way in this corner, top corner, so we can get that to focus in a little better, there we go. It looks just like your normal power a logo that you would see on just about anything. And to turn it on, yes, you just press that. This is the way you turn it on. This is not the way you turn it off. Let me repeat, this button is not the way you turn it off. All right, here we go, turning it on, starring my hand. We press it, we immediately see lights come on across the board. And we will see the screen start to power up. There it is, electronic theater controls has appeared. And now I'll come back, pardon the glare from the light. In fact, I'll turn that down a little bit. You can't see the board really well in the video unless I, uh, let's just turn that off for a minute when we're looking at this. All right, so the screen comes up and the screen will ask us a few things. Ask us whether we want to boot up our primary or a backup, client settings, offline and shutdown. The, uh, this board is really cool. It will allow you to save different setups. So if different organizations are using it, for example, when we first got the board, we were using it and a church was using it as well. That allowed us to save different, uh, have basically assign different functions to the board, which is really useful. For us, the vast majority of the time, you're going to hit primary here. You're going to use the mouse. It's over here on the right side of the board. Sorry to my left-handed folks. Um, if you're running it, you can move it over to the left and feel more comfortable. We'll click on primary. And it goes through a whole boot up sequence, as you expect. It will help you, and you will, you will quickly grasp a light board a lot sooner if you just accept that the light board is just another computer. And a lot of the things that you're used to with using a computer, you need to be used to with this as well. And that's the startup and the shutdown is very similar. All right, so let's talk about a few basic parts of this. So obviously we see the screen. We'll get into that in a moment. Let's look down at this side. Let me get my light back on so we can see the buttons over here. All right, so a lot of this, one of the problems when people first look at a lighting board is they just get blown away by the complexity of it. There's so many buttons and all sorts of strange words or, or words being used in really weird ways you would have never really expected you would need in your life. Um, but it's not as complicated as it looks. So let's, let's sort of focus ourselves on some basic things. So first thing we want to look at is over here on the left side. So there's your power button. This is just down beneath it. This is your grand master. Basically a grand master uh, is the level of lighting, the intensity of the lighting on stage for every single lighting instrument effect, everything. So if this is turned off, then nothing else is going to work, period. All right. So this slides all the way up. When, right, right when we turn on the board, our first step is to turn this all the way up. You will notice over it is a blackout button. What that basically does is automatically shuts this off. We're just going to tap that to take it off, and then our board is ready to use. Now, if you forget that, it can be kind of frustrating because you're trying to do lighting and nothing's happening. But you will notice up on the screen, I'm going to make this appear. You see up that little red thing appear in the top right-hand corner? it will say blackout until you take that off. So that's your little reminder that that's on needs to come off. You will also see 
If the Grand Master is not on 100, it will tell you what the Grand Master is at. That will also remind you, okay, I should probably put that to 100 right now. There's some reasons that you will use the Grand Master, but for the most part, we're going to leave that at 100. As soon as it gets to 100, that goes away, tells you it's ready to go. Okay? So that's the first thing you need to know about that side. Now then, down here, this section of the board is largely used uh, for programming. It's used for setting up lighting cues, which are just groupings of different lighting instruments set to different levels or movements or whatever, so that every time you want the lights to do something, you don't have to uh, put that all in or move a ton of switches to do it. It's ways to kind of link those together. Think of it as kind of painting a picture on stage and then kind of saving what it takes to make that picture. So we'll get into some of these more as we look at programming cues. That's all you need to know for this point in the video. All right, so obviously the screen. The screen has a lot of different views, and we'll talk through those later. But the most common view is what you see right here. And this is the only one we're going to talk about for now. This is what is called a tombstone view. Let me see how well I can focus on this. Sometimes cameras don't focus on screens well. Oh, this one's doing okay. All right, so you see how those look kind of like tombstones. Each one of those things that you see on the screen represents a different channel. A channel is basically a pathway of information. Um, in old days, a channel was a legit wire that would run from, uh, from a, a power source to your lighting instrument. Um, these days, these channels are circuits of information. So each one of these things you see on the tombstone is representing a channel, or actually in this case, uh, we can make it just show pure channels. These really show you different instruments. Um, an instrument is what we used to call a light. So each of these is basically a different instrument. These first ones, the reason I was kind of confusing with what I'm talking about, the first ones that you see on screen right now, these are also just a channel as well. These are for the old style instruments that basically come on or off. So each of these channels is running one instrument, right? So if I selected one of those, I could turn on one light at a time and adjust that. We'll get into that later. Now, for our complicated lights, and if I scroll this down a little bit, we can see those. If we get into our more complicated lights, like here, these actually take a lot of channels to run, um, but, but, they are, but they're for like an instrument, like a, um, an LED light. So on, for, that, for that instrument, we would need to send it information about a lot of things. They would need to know you know, how much red, green, or blue to put in it, how much the level is. If it's a mover, how to move on each one of the different angles. So that has a little bit more in there. This board can handle two universes of, of information, um, which is an awful lot. A universe, I'll need to double check myself, uh, but I believe a universe is... 512 channels. This can do two universes, which means it would do 1,024. I need to double check that to make sure I'm telling you right. Um, but uh, So that's a lot. That can handle a lot of information. All right. So continuing on. So the other side of the board, as we discussed, is the fader wing. Basically, these are a bunch of sliders. Each one of these sliders can bring up a different look of lights on stage. So a, light, a group that we can set up using the controls on the other side, we can save it to one of these controls, and then anytime we need that particular light brought up on stage, we can do it. All right, keyboard in back. We won't use that much. That's why it's set in back, but we'll use, we use that for naming cues or naming effects and things. The mouse over here hiding, you can see, over on the end. And that is essentially the makeup of the board. Okay? Now, let's look about how we turn this thing off. Remember, it's not this. Don't use that. That's actually one of the few things that you could do that could actually cause damage back here. Uh, if you turn off the board and the the problem is that you actually could power off the board that way, but have you ever had a computer where if you shut it down just by like unplugging it or pulling out the power cord or you know doing some sudden turn off where it got um, 
that somehow the data was corrupted or it didn't boot up right next time and it was a real pain. That's what will happen with the light board if you shut it down improperly. So avoid turning it down with that button, okay? If you look up here, there's a little window right here. We usually leave this window up. And you'll see in that menu it says power off device. That's in like the bottom center of the screen. I know it's hard to get perspective with this right now. So we'll go in there, we're going to choose power off device, double click it, and we double click it, it opens up a dialog box saying, do you really want to do this? Yes, we really want to power down our device. You hit OK, just like going to the shutdown menu on your computer, it'll go through it, it'll pop up this menu again, but you don't need to do anything, it powers it off, and you'll see when it's done, not just the screen goes off, but all of the lights everywhere else go off as well. All right. All right. So that's step one, powering it on and the basics.